What's up, everybody? It's Mommy Wata, and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. If you are new to this Zodiac channel, please go ahead, hit all those appropriate buttons for me, and let's get started, y'all. Let's see what element, what Zodiac sign, what king or queen does the Holy Spirit want us to have a message for at this time? Hear a message for who is the message for? Oh, that's just spot five. We, ain't, we can't take all of them. Let's see. Who is the message for at this time, Holy Spirit? Who do you want us to get a message on? Air signs. Let's see, air signs. Let's see what's up. Holy Spirit, what is the message for my air sign collective, please? And thank you. Aquarius, Geminis, and Libra's Holy Spirit. What is it that you would like for them to know at this time, please? And thank you. What is the insight, clarity, message, guidance that you have for my Geminis, for my Libras, for my Aquarius collective, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. What is it that you would like for them to know at this time? Let's go. What is the message here? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. We have Queen of Pentacles here. What else, Holy Spirit? Two of Swords. And let's see what else fell out. Knight of Pentacles with the Judgment card, okay? I feel like somebody was on the fence about who they wanted to be with, who they who they wanted to commit to. Maybe they were already committed to someone, but they were making plans to transform their life with someone else, move forward with someone else here, celebrate and have a partnership with another. OK, but they were trying to figure out how they were going to pull this off. Air sign, whoever this is. They was trying to figure out how they was going to come towards y'all. How were they going to give you this love offer? Okay, it may look like a slick love offer, but baby, whoever this is that's trying to come towards y'all, they have an ace of cups for y'all, okay? So, it might look slick, but it ain't slick. They want a ten of pentacles and an ace of cups with you all. They want to move forward in life and have success with you, air sign. Okay? If y'all hear drumming, that's my neighbor, okay? He be tripping me out with that. But, yeah. So, back to the reading. Whoever this is that's coming towards you, air signs, they are leaving another commitment, okay? Who is this, Holy Spirit? They were in a commitment with the Queen of Pentacles, and for a while there... They were unable to decide what they wanted to do, but they put an end to that. They've ended that relationship because they want to have this prime golden opportunity with my air signs. Okay. I'm picking that up. Heaven and I, I was, I've told y'all what I was, what I was hearing, what I was feeling for a while there. They weren't sure what they wanted to do. Whoever this is, they were not sure. But also, I think they were just trying to gather evidence, trying to decide, trying to figure out how they were going to move forward. This person has been planning. They've been observing and they've been planning. OK, and they finally made a decision. They decided they want to transform their lives with you all. OK, you and this person already have a ten of pentacles. Excuse me, spiritual confirmation. The chariot, three of cups, ten of pentacles, ace of cups with the ace of pentacles already out here for y'all energy. Okay. So this person ain't just hopping from you from from another person to y'all. They have really taken time and assessed if you are right for them, air signs, and that they've decided that you are. Four 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 on the clock. Look, this king of pentacles here. This King of Pentacles is putting up a blockage to this Queen of Pentacles. 
And he's turning his back to her for y'all. Okay? This man was in a commitment, though. And a king, of, king, of, king and queen of pentacles is usually a married couple, y'all. Was this king and queen of pentacles married? This man leaving his wife look like, ooh, what, what did I just say? Queen of Wands. This man leaving, this man leaving his wife for somebody, for one of my air signs, okay? This is her energy. She gonna go from a Queen of Pentacles to a Queen of Wands because he is going to get into a Ten of Pentacles with you. You are going to fulfill that spot. Now, air signs, I hate to be the one to be like this. But you do lose them how you get them now, y'all, okay? 555 five, five, just hitting the clock. So if this man was married to this Queen of Pentacles and you have been engaging in a relationship with him while you were married, you know, it's, it's a toss-up how that can play out for y'all in the long run. Hopefully that this was not a situation where you and this man clarify. Let's clarify. What is the situation between this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Swords? Because this man was married. Hierophant came out here sideways. So maybe he was separated. Okay? Seven of Swords came out here too, though. But it came out here sideways too. They both came out here like this. Okay? So what this tells me, Queen of Swords, is that at one point, maybe y'all thought this man was just trying to have his cake and eat it too that he was still in house living with his wife because you know how people say they separated but they really just separated for them few hours till they go back home and get in the bed with their wife okay that's what y'all thought this king of pentacles was on for a minute there that's why this hyphen and the seven of swords came out like that but you realize that this man really don't live with his wife you realize that maybe this man ain't scheming and plotting and just being an unfaithful husband. What was this King of Pentacles situation when he got with this Queen of Swords, Holy Spirit? What was going on between him and this Queen of Pentacles? Ten of Cups. Eight of Swords. Seven of Cups. This man feel like he got trapped into a commitment with his queen of pentacles based on lies and illusions okay this is why he's in this energy and this is why he probably wasn't in-house when you met him queen of swords and when you started dealing with him because this man believes that this woman tricked him somehow into getting into a commitment with her clarify holy spirit and she might have did. See, what I'm getting, air signs, queen of swords, is that he had married the karmic. That's what I'm getting now. Y'all ain't the karmic. He married the karmic. And now he's he's leaving the karmic behind. He's putting his guard up to this queen of pentacles. She going to go from a queen of pentacles to a queen of wands. And the energy that exists between you and this masculine lets me know that you and him have the divine connection. We have the nine of cups. This man knows the difference between the seven of cups he thought he was going to have with this queen of pentacles and the nine of cups that he can actually have with you, queen of swords, okay? He, he see the difference. The nine of cups is falling right up under the king of pentacles with the judgment. He knows that if he transforms his life in this way, he, all of his wishes are going to come true with you. So no, baby, you ain't the karmic queen of swords, okay? And don't let nobody tell you you are. Okay, just because somebody married somebody don't mean that that was their ideal counterpart. And we see that all the time. We have the two of cups with this temperance, like I just said. Just because somebody married somebody and got into a commitment or partnership with them, that does not mean that this is the person who was designed to balance their, their life. To be the energy who balances their chi. Who is their rib. Who is their other half. Who is their kingdom spouse. Whatever you want to call it. Who they were fated to be together. 
I feel like this emperor, I'm calling him an emperor because this is why. He knows that he was fated to be with you, Queen of Swords, air sign. Okay? He knows that. Whether he married somebody else or not, that's why he's leaving this connection behind so that he can offer you the commitment that you deserve. That is why this man is moving forward. Okay? So how this going to play out for my Queen of Swords, Air Sign, Holy Spirit? We see what he's planning on doing. We see what direction he's coming in. But baby, he got to get up out of a marriage first. I mean, we just going to be realistic here. This man has to get a divorce. He may be going through a divorce. We see the, look, magician with the nine of wands. For some reason, though, I don't feel like this man has divorced this queen of pentacles yet. So, queen of swords, I want y'all to be careful about how much you give away before you get what you deserve with this knight of wands and this four of wands. 11, 11 on the phone. Because if this is your true divine counterpart, He's going to respect any decision you make to withdraw from certain activity and behaviors with him until he can fully invest in you and he's fully laid that other situation to rest. Now I'm hearing that I need to tell somebody that. Don't hop into no four wands with this man and he's still married to another woman. Make him do right by you. Make him do it the right way. Your energy is is well deserving of the right way, okay? You know, don't let nobody play you like no bust down and you giving out chariot, ten of pentacles, ace of swords. Oh, excuse me. That's the truth, though. Ace of cups with the ace of pentacles energy. Don't let nobody play you like that and you giving out this pristine divine energy because in the end, you may end up getting played because... We don't give up everything without receiving something in return, y'all. I don't know. You you know, you can be a selfless giver, but you don't need to be a stupid one, a slow giver. Somebody who gives of themselves without paying attention to how it's reciprocated. And for some reason, I'm picking up that this man has not. He may not be living with his wife. Now, I was picking up that he is separated. He is, like, physically separated. He don't mess with her. He got his own spot type energy, okay? He did move on to calmer waters. But he has to end. End it. Close it out for good. Finalize it before he can be fully free to move on with you okay with the star energy you want to be free you want you want everything to be fully in alignment so that you and him can have what you deserve ten of pentacles ace of pentacles ace of cups four of wands ten of cups come on now 1331 when i looked up he has moved on to calmer waters but air signs Tell that man he need to get a divorce now. Don't have that man out here having you like that. If he really love you and he want to be with you, he is going to end that other connection the proper way so that he can be a single man. Someone who is fully free of any legal ties to another woman. He has to truly eight of cups that connection. If you want to see the light at the end of the tunnel with the connection between you and him. Because he, well, some people do it. They be married to two and three different women and still got about two or three side pieces, okay? But that we don't want that for y'all, air signs. We want y'all to get the connection that you deserve. We want you to get the monogamous commitment that you deserve. So you got to stand for something or you will fall for anything. I, I feel like y'all have made some concessions because of this man's situation and because of the connection between the two of y'all. But one thing I'm going to have to say, air signs, is y'all have not come out as this man's match yet. And this is why. The energy is there. What could be is there. 
The potential is there, but he has to clean it up. He got to clean up his mess. He got to handle his business before he can fully give you what you deserve. And that's all I'm saying. I ain't saying give up on the man. Okay, 1515, I'm just saying, make him respect you. Make him love and honor and nurture you the right way. Do not just end up as a side piece, third party. That's all I'm saying, okay? Because you definitely deserve more than that. He's definitely wanting to give you more than that. So make him stand on that and make him act upon it. You can't make him, but the way that you can encourage him is by not allowing him to play like he your husband when he's married to somebody else, okay? Any final messages for my air signs? Strength. I'm telling you, don't break down, air signs. Because I feel like how you've handled this man thus far has made him wise up to who you are, to the divine connection, to the twin flame journey that you and him are on. There's some type of divine connection between you and this man now. It is. And you did come out as the Queen of Cups, but only after you ins insist that he get things in alignment that he do things the right way. That's when you came out as his match for the first time, okay? So you have to stand on that. You know you are his ideal love choice. You make him treat you like you are his ideal love choice. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Any final messages from my air signs, Holy Spirit? That was too many. Any final messages, please and thank you. Dying. For my air sign collective, Holy Spirit, final messages, Ace of Swords. Holy Spirit says, that's the truth. If you want to have a victory with this man, you make him stand on what is right and make him give you what you deserve. And I keep saying make you, but I'm telling you that encouragement, that'll make a motherfucker do the right thing, boy, okay? So I'm going to end it here. <laughs> I'm going to drop the mic, air signs, I hope that this message helps you. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.